So today's video is going to be about a huge problem that I've had with my male Dogo Argentino Zeus. Stay tuned. Check us out. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to my channel. It's Nicole from Dogo Argentino USA, the channel where we chat Dogos. Now, Dogo Argentinos, if you haven't been here before, are a majestic hunting breed designed to kill boar and puma. And they are very rare in the United States. They were brought to the United States from Argentina in 1970 and captured our hearts right away. So let's dive into one of the big problems that you are going to deal with if you have a Dogo Argentina, a male, an intact male. And if you wanna know my advice about fixing an intact male, I do have a video on that. Feel free to look it up. So having an intact animal is a little different than having a spay or neutered animal. And one of the situations that you're going to run into is, say it with me, wait for it, punani time. So anytime a male is exposed to the scent of a female that is in heat, he is going to go cray cray, so crazy. And it's just part of their biological drive. You can't truly train it out of them. You certainly don't want to punish them for it. It's just the nature of who they are. The urge to breed is one of their very strongest core biological drives. And you're going to have to strap in and get ready for a wild ride because your dogo is going to be a different dog than the dog you've come to know. If you have never experienced a dog who is around a female, you got a wild ride coming, Mr. or Ma'am. Okay, so what are the signs? What are you what are you thinking? What should you be looking for? Well, one of the first things you're going to notice is that your Dogo Argentino male is going to behave differently. And there is going to be a combination of actual physical signs and symptoms and emotional behavioral signs and symptoms. And so I want you to be aware that there are two components to this. One is mental, one is physical. And if you are wondering where it starts, I generally notice the actual behavior first and then the physical second. So what are, what are some of the things you should look for? So a lot of marking, an unusual amount of marking. There's a lot of panting. There's a lot of alert running around. You'll see challenge tail all the time. He's interested, he's alert. His ears are, are pricked up, you know. He, he's smelling the air. If you have intact females in your house, he's going to start to follow them. He will relentlessly follow them. And as a matter of fact, he will be rebuked hard. It is not unusual for a male to be bit numerous times by a female who is coming into heat but is not yet receptive. Bit on the face, bit on the shoulder, just bit constantly. And he will in no way be deterred by this biting, let me tell you. You would think that being bitten until the other dog cries would be enough to be like, hey, I don't want none of that. No, that's more like foreplay for him. He does not care. He's been bitten so many times in the face, so many times, because he's relentless. He's a male. He's like, hey... I will take a few bitings if it means I get some nani nan. Uh, he's, he is so relentless. He's very annoying. And you should be prepared to sort of be annoyed with your dog because they're annoying during this time. But try to understand they can't control it. They can't stop it. And it is one of their primary directives as an animal is to reproduce. So this is part of having an intact animal. And if you're not willing to deal with this, then you either probably shouldn't get an animal or maybe you shouldn't have an intact animal. But for many health reasons, having an intact animal is actually extremely good for the dog. And like I said, I have a video about that if you wanna check it out. But if you've made the decision for health purposes and it's right for you and your family to keep your dog intact, you're going to have to deal with the sexual behavior that comes with maturity. And 
having to deal with that just means you have to have a couple lifestyle changes and it happens in my household because I have all intact dogs. My females come into heat twice a year and they come into heat staggered. Like one will start entering heat and then the other will start entering heat about a week later. So I have, normally heat doesn't last that long, but the fertile stage is only five to seven days at max, but the whole process takes about three weeks. And because they stagger, I generally get five to six weeks worth of annoyance out of them all. Uh, but I'm used to it, it is what it is. You have got to prepare yourself though. Dogs, male dogs, male Dogo Argentino dogs are stubborn, strong, fast, and determined. So it is not impossible for a determined male Dogo to escape a six foot tall fence. So I advise that if you think your dog has smelled someone coming into heat or in heat, that you don't leave them out in the yard alone because they can definitely scale a six foot fence. I've seen tons of videos. And in my case, I have a privacy fence, which means that the the fancy side faces the outside and the framing faces the inside because I don't have a double fence, I just have a single layer. So it actually has the framing on the inside facing the yard, which gives them a, a foothold that they could easily hop over. If you have a chain link fence, I've seen dogs climb chain link fences. Uh, it is amazing how determined a dog is when that biological drive takes a hold of them. So my male, immediately stops eating. It's totally normal. He does it every time. And unfortunately, because of the two females being in the house, that six week period, he just really hardly eats at all. He'll drink, he'll eat a little bit. I try to coax him with some extra special treats like fried eggs or, you know, a little bit of bison meat that's cooked. And he'll eat the cooked, he really rejects the raw. I don't know why, but he just, he loses weight and he gets real skinny and very gaunt looking. He, he loses about five pounds, if not slightly more than that. Um, again, it's completely normal. So first he's gonna start smelling and sniffing and marking a lot. He may try to escape. And then you're gonna notice that he starts to pant. And at first it's just like, you almost don't no notice because it's really slight. And I'm like, well, he's panting. Okay, he must be hot. And then the panting kind of deepens and intensifies and then eventually it starts to add with every pant a whine and then that whine becomes a scream. And then you have a dog that's sweating, panting, shaking, grinding his teeth. If you've never seen that, they like chatter their teeth and they grind their, their bottom teeth on their top teeth and they make a little chattery noise. And this starts to coincide with them sweating. And I mean, they will absolutely, uh, in some cases they'll get foamy, sweaty foamy. Uh, they'll shake and their eyes will often dilate and they look crazy. Their eyes get real glassy. They don't listen. It's just like the urge overtakes them and it's like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and you have Mr. Hyde in your house. The crazy, strong, out of control Dogo Argentino who, you know, my dogs are really well trained. They're, they listen really well. And he tries to listen. You can actually see him struggling to obey and listen during that time, but he just doesn't do a very good job, which is totally normal. They just, they can't, they can't handle it. So some tips that you can use to make this period better. Number one, the most important thing, if you do nothing else, OMG, make sure your male is separated from your intact females if you're not wanting them to breed because they will find a way. And that might mean that you need to take your male away, have them stay at a friend's house, have them stay in boarding, or the female, either one, you can go either way. Um, or you may, if you can't afford that or don't want to do that, you might need to actually have some revolving crate time where one is in a crate in a room with the door shut for an hour or two, which they absolutely hate. They hate being away from the family because this is such a family oriented dog, but for the purposes of controlling reproduction that might be needed. Uh, and then you just switch them out. Now, some people who have multiple dogs have actual separate parts of the yard that are fenced off that the other dog can't get to, can't climb out of. 
if you're, you know, going down the road of wanting to be a breeder, you should separate your yard in that way. And you can't have just a chain link. You have to have a chain link with about six inches in between them because believe me there are there are examples of a female backing her butt up to a chain link and a male still being able to get to her and connect with her in that way they are very devious well they're not devious they're just trying to reproduce it's just what they do so i want you to double the exercise so if you normally take your dog on a one mile run in the morning and a two mile walk in the evening you want to do a two mile run in the morning and a four mile walk in the evening. But physical exhaustion is not enough because the dogs will actually cease to sleep. The dogo male will just, he, he won't sleep, he won't eat, he'll pace, he's restless, try to do some obedience drills. He probably won't be that great. They just don't listen as well when they are have that scent up in their face. And like I said, they can smell a female coming into heat two to three miles away. It might not even be in your neighborhood. It might be two neighborhoods away, or perhaps he got the smell in his nose when he went to the groomers, if he had his toes done, or he went to the vet, or he went to doggy daycare, or he went to Lowe's, or he went to, you know, obedience class. There's any number of places he could come into contact with a fertile female, even if you don't have fertile females of your own. So be prepared you do have to kind of put up with a period of them being kind of like i don't want to call it a stereotype but it's kind of like a stereotype so i apologize i'm not meaning to be offensive they kind of get like big dumb jocks they're just like girls 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 oh look i'm running running is awesome girls 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 you know like that's their only two thing you know they'll, they'll exercise because they love exercise so much but ultimately they're all about the girls. So just be aware, be advised. It's gonna be annoying, but that's okay. That's all right, you can do it. Your sweet dog will come back. He will be obedient again if you've trained him and he was obedient before. He will get his act together, but you know, unfortunately there is a period of time where he's gonna be kind of an annoying dog and you just, you gotta roll with it. Just roll with it, it'll be fine. Hey, one other thing, if I haven't told you before, like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. As always, this is your Dogo Argentino USA host, Nicole. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate your watch time. As always, I'll see you in the comments below. Have a Dogotastic day. Ciao.